Not to go to the ZAC yesterday. Okay, um, I mean, the, the markets were down yesterday. Uh, the main highlight today was that uh, some of the big caps uh, you know, uh, were down. Uh, Cassava and Simbisa, they lost ground. The main highlight really yesterday was just a big trade in uh, Insco. Um, Who did that? Uh, it was a foreign buyer. Oh, it was a foreign buyer? Yeah, because foreign buyers, they were 9.2 million and the value traded in Insco was 9.5. Uh, but overall, uh, the mining was unchanged. Uh, OSHA index down 0.04 percent, and the top 10 index down 0.64 uh, percent. I think, I mean, uh, the main thing is liquidity. Uh, there isn't much um, money, especially on the local side, um, to support share price appreciation. But definitely, the, the market is going to come back because of the need, of course, to hedge against inflation. Inflation number, I mean, is quite quite huge there. Uh, in terms of market cap was sitting at 2.85 uh, billion, yeah. And the rates yesterday? Right, looking at our rates uh, for, for, the, for Monday, movement was limited. Um, the start of the week in Arari, the alternative market and bank rates generally firm from last week, so uh, maybe that band we have been talking about for the last couple of days is coming into full effect. We'll mm. see what it does today after the increase in, in petrol and, and diesel. Yeah. The old mutual rates uh, stayed at 10.28, hard boiled egg index at 7.2. Your best rates, best buy premium is 9, and for interbank market, CABS and FBC had 8.71. Best sell rate is Rollport with 7.5, and ZB with 8.92. I'm pretty sure the price of eggs has moved up a bit. Mm, since, uh, I know, we'll see today after the increase in, in, yeah. in the fuel market. Uh, so yesterday I got a question from uh, one of, uh, it's a private company really, so they are trying to come up with uh, some forecasts on the exchange rate. I think that's a key issue for a lot of management teams there to say, you know, what's going to happen to the exchange rate. Uh, so really I was just trying to, to come up with some explanation as to my thoughts on the rates. So any ideas on how that would uh, come out probably by the end of the year? Happy. Of the year. Of the year, we don't know, but there's a band now. Yeah. That's what we know. That band is more there's than There's a set band, yeah. That's almost now two So weeks. we'll see mm. after the MPS, um, which is mm. mid-term. Then from there, we'll see where it goes. It might not get to 15, actually. You want to so bet? No, I don't want to bet. The okay. last time you didn't honor your bet was John so I can't. I won. I won the bet. No, you won after four months. Yeah, but, but I mean, we, say, we didn't set no, no, a no, time. No, you set a time to say bet. immediately MPS. Um, <laughs> you said yeah, after MPS, <laughs> then you will, you, you, two weeks. You did a two week timeline and then you didn't honor, so I can't bet. I think let's you. make the bet, guys, and then we'll put a hashtag okay, to it. You can bet, the two of you. I'm, I'm putting not. it no, uh, we're, we're almost, you know, we're at 15 at the end of the year. Yeah, 15. We will, we're I'm targeting not. 15 for the end of the year. I'm not. So, boys versus. Happy. Okay. Yeah. But so, you don't pay. So what's you don't your target? Um, ten. Putting no, it it's ten. not 10. It's probably 12 or 13. I'll put it at 13. Yeah, so we're in the same. No, it's not the five. same. Yeah. But it might go to 20, to be honest. But anyway, I'm not going to bet because you, you guys don't pay. I think next time.